a lot of my activism just was natural from making a space for myself in the community. Um, and then when I adapted that to my film work, a lot of that was figuring out how to create empathy and make that relatable to other people so they could see my story and, and want to make change as well. The project I'm working on now is about a boy, a closeted boy in the Orthodox community who discovers a love letter written to his grandfather after his grandfather passes away. Um, and it's a letter from before the Holocaust written by another man. So uh, what ends up happening is this boy goes on a journey to discover who is this mysterious author, to learn a little bit more about his grandfather and who his grandfather was, and to discover a little bit more about his own identity. So how I came about this is from a previous film I made um, that was about a Holocaust survivor and her granddaughter who came out to her as gay. And while I was screening this film, I got a lot of feedback about gay persecution in the Holocaust that was um, pretty shocking to me. I There was a lot of taboo around the subject of just discussing gay persecution in the Holocaust. And then there was the fact that I um, grew up in a J Jewish day school system uh, and learned about the Holocaust at least every year, if not you know multiple times a year, and had never once learned about gay persecution in the Holocaust. So. Um, I was on a panel for this film and somebody asked a question and not only did I not know the answer, but the audience got very defensive and kept, you know, people started speaking out and saying that's not what this panel is about. This is about the Jewish experience. And so um, it was a, a theme that I ended up encountering a few times that specifically the Jewish community feels very defensive about the Holocaust. But also I saw a parallel about the, the religious community not wanting to discuss queer voices today and queer voices in the past. And so uh, that's where the story came about. And as part of the um, promotion for this film, we've been releasing individual interviews with queer Orthodox people because the whole point of the story is we need to hear voices from LGBTQ people in the Orthodox community. Otherwise, you don't get our story and people don't hear our stories. And so it starts with just sharing that voice so that people can understand where we're coming from. I think it's very easy when you're doing activism to face some challenges and be disheartened. And it's important to know that you have to just keep going um, and that you can maybe not change everybody's opinion, but you can at least change some people's opinion. And the more people you can touch and, and get that um, word out there, the more that they can spread the word as well. Um, and as we see, even in the general or the national um, kind of feelings about LGBT inclusion have gotten so much more accepting over the last decade and less, um, and that's affected the religious community as well. You know, just the fact that people can see uh, queer people out in the open, can see LGBTQ uh, people on television, characters in movies, that affects how people see um, LGBTQ individuals. And so, uh, yeah, just getting as much as you can, uh, moving forward as much as you can and continuing to fight for your own story or somebody else's story, even if you have those hardships along the way the rabbi of the synagogue, whether he wants to deal with it or not, our presence means that we are in a space that is orthodox. And that's different than in the past when I think many LGBTQ Jews could not still exist in an orthodox space. Um, just kind of the fact that I feel comfortable putting my presence out there has to do with a lot of the history of LGBTQ activism and the way that our country has changed. And, and I feel comfortable making myself present and making myself known. Um, and so if you're comfortable doing that, I think that makes a huge difference. And if you're not comfortable doing that, then I think just finding a space where you can exist is equally as important.